Welcome to this OMI video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to integrate HP Operations Manager for Windows so you can use OMI as a single pane of glass for monitoring across the IT enterprise. After configuring the integration, you will be able to forward events and topology from OM to OMI. Any changes to those events are synchronized between OM and OMI. Any instruction text and automatic and user-initiated actions defined in the events can be executed from OMI, and the OMI user can also execute tools in context with events and CIs for nodes managed by OM. There are five steps to configuring the integration. Establish a trust between OM and OMI to enable secure HTTP communications. Add OM as a connected server to OMI. Synchronize the topology from OM to OMI. Configure event forwarding from OM to OMI and validate the configuration with test events. Log in to the OMI server. In a distributed environment, this is a data processing server. Run the BBC Trust Server command to get and install the OM server certificate. Log in to the OM server and run BBC Trust Server to get and install the OMI server certificate from the OMI Gateway server. Verify that Secure HTTP Communications is now configured by running BBC Util minus ping. This shows successful communications from OM to OMI. If you have a distributed environment, log in to the OMI Gateway server and run the command to verify secure HTTP communications from OMI to OM. The second step is to create a connected server for OM. Go to Administration, Setup and Maintenance, Connected Servers, and create a new OMW connected server. Enter a unique name for this connector. Enter the OM server's fully qualified domain name and an integration username. This must be a user that is a member of the HP OVE admins group. Click Test Connection to verify OMI successfully connects to the OM server via HTTPS. The outgoing connection details are used to connect to OM when an OMI user retrieves instruction text or executes an action on an event that came from OM. Enter the password of the integration user. Select the port. The default is 443 for OMW Web Services. Click to retrieve the certificate, which is required for HTTPS Web Services. Then test the connection to verify the correct credentials and port. The next step is to synchronize the topology from OM to OMI. To tell OM where to forward its topology, configure the server and select the Discovery Server namespace. Add the hostname of the OMI Gateway Server to the list of target servers to forward discovery data. Then restart the OV Auto Discovery Server service for your changes to take effect. From this point onwards, all topology changes are automatically forwarded to OMI. In order to forward this existing topology, you need to run the Synchronized Topology tool in the HP Operations Manager Tools folder. You can check that the node topology is created by refreshing the system's infrastructure view in the View Explorer. The next step is to configure event forwarding from OM to OMI. If you already use a server-based flexible management policy, edit it to include the OMI server. Otherwise, create a new server-based flexible management policy like this. While you can create a new policy from scratch, it is just as easy to modify a sample policy such as Backup Actual Server. Replace the placeholder hostname with the hostname of your OMI Gateway Server. This policy forwards all messages to OMI. Check the syntax and save the policy with a new name. Deploy the new policy to the OM Server to start forwarding events. The final step is to verify the event integration is working. Generate a test message to OM and see that it is forwarded into OMI. The Source tab shows the OM server that forwarded the event. 
change the event in OMI and check that the changes are synchronised to OM. When you acknowledge the message in OM, it is closed in OMI. You can also check that OMI can execute user actions and read instruction text for events forwarded from OM. This event was forwarded from OM. The instructions are retrieved from the OM server, and the action request is sent to the OM server, which then sends the request to the agent to execute. You are now managing your events from OMI. To learn more about integrating OM with OMI, see the OMI Integrations Guide.